Um... Osawa-san. I haven't been able to get you out of my thoughts since yesterday. What? Nanakuma. I'm Yujiro Kano, a second-year high school student who sticks to pacifism. Hey, Yujiro! Why don't we go to an arcade after school? Sorry, I gotta study. The exam is soon. Hey, you should take a rest once in a while. You're working too hard. I can't catch up unless I work this hard. Jeez, you became a really serious boy. Alright, we will study today. Thanks, Ken. I used to be on the wrong path. I became serious to make up for it. Ken Takizawa is my only best friend who's always been with me since we were little. Hey, studying hard? Yeah, thanks. You should take a rest once in a while. Ken said the same thing, but I can't do that. I let a lot of time go to waste. I'm glad you're studying hard, but you shouldn't push yourself too hard. I have Ken. I can blow off some steam with him. Okay, you're a high school student. You should make memories other than studying. Memories? I don't know. For example, a romance. I... I don't need such a thing now. <laughs> Just kidding. Mom, you should go to bed. Your condition might get worse. Yeah, good night. Yeah, good night. I cost my mother a lot of trouble. She raised me on her own. I'm gonna work for a big company to support her financially so that I can repay her. With that feeling in mind, I study hard every day. Okay, next up is quadratic function. I'm bad with this. Oh, are you studying today too? Osawa-san. Don't call my name friendly like that, you introvert. She's Akari Osawa, a standout gal who's my classmate. She's attractive, but aggressive. I find it hard to be with her. Oh, sorry. So, you need something? Nothing. You have nothing to do other than studies. Do my homework. Sorry, I can't do that. Um, you won't learn anything unless you do it on your own. I'm not <laughs> trying to learn anything. Come on, just do it. Um... Hey, what are you doing? Oh, your friend is here. Hey, do this for me. Sorry, I don't have time to waste to do a stupid gal's homework. Huh? What did you say? Ken, that's too far. She won't understand easily. Ugh, you're really annoying. Osawa-san, class will start soon. Tch, lame. Are you okay with her saying that? I don't mind that. I was like her before. It takes me back. Even though she talked that bad to you? You're the man. I don't hate that side of you, though. Bye! Yeah, see you tomorrow. Alright, I'll review math when I return home. Boo! Whoa! You startled me! <laughs> You're lame! Osawa-san. You're so dumb! I'd expect nothing less from you, you introvert! <laughs> My sights! Can I help you with something? Nothing. I just saw you, so I talked to you. You live in this area? No, my house is the other way. I'm going to cram school. Wow, bookworm. Well, we're going the same direction anyway. Y yeah Hey, there's no hidden meaning in that. Don't misunderstand. Huh? What do you mean? Introverts fall for me just because I treat them a bit nicely. I... I won't. I love buff guys. You're not my type. I feel like you dumped me even though I didn't even confess my love to you. I'm going this way. Watch out for cars, introvert! Y yeah Watch out. I can't really hate her. Hey, cutie! What? You're attractive. Let's hang out together. No, I'm busy. If you're busy, what are you doing out here at an R like this? I know you wanted some guys to talk to you. No! 
I'm heading to the convenience store. In the first place, half-assed guys like you aren't my type. Hey, don't get carried away just because we're acting nice. Watch your mouth. Hey, just go with us. Let go of me. Shut up. Not again. No one will save me this time either. Look at the time. Cram school was prolonged. Hey, just give up. Delinquents. It takes me back. They'll cause me trouble. I won't get involved with them. Hey, come this way. Just give up, bitch. I know you want to hang out with us. Bitch. I said let go of me. I'll call the police. You were acting imposing like that, and you'll rely on the police? I think that's a smart choice. Oh, you're... Huh? Who are you? Oh, it looks like you're an introvert. You want to show her how cool you are because you never get the chance to? No, I don't want to get involved with people like you. But I don't like what's going on here. If you leave your wallet and piss off right now, I'll let you go. You don't want to get beaten up, eh? I don't have money on hand. Anyway, would you let go of... It can't be helped. You're a weak introvert, but we gotta give you a lecture. Ah, no one can talk stuff through with you. Huh, hey, is he? What? Let's just beat him up. Wait, isn't he... Kano from Nanakuma Middle School? Kano? The strongest delinquent who beat 100 delinquents? This is no good. We shouldn't fight against him. L let's go! Um... Uh. Hey... Where are my glasses? Here! Oh, thank you! No! Thank you! Oh, Osawa-san! It was you? You realized now? Um... Thank you for helping me. You don't have to. Are you hurt? No, I'm okay. <laughs> um, he said you were the strongest delinquent. Um, seems like I can't keep it a secret anymore. I was... Hey, you two are high school students, right? What are you doing this late? Damn, Osawa-san, come on, we can talk later. H hey! Phew, we're safe here. You're good at running away from the police. I have some experience. I used to be a punk. Huh? Mom, is your condition bad today too? Sorry, but I'm good. My mother has always been sick. She divorced her husband when I was little and raised me with her worn out body. I heard that Kano-san is sick and she's a single mother. Oh, I'm sorry for her son. There were some people who made fun of our home environment at school too, not just our neighbors. Even though they didn't know anything, they just said whatever they wanted. Don't make fun of mom! Ah, okay, okay. Don't be mad like that. I won't forgive you next time. I used to just bear with it, but one day, I bared my fangs at a jerk. After that day, no one would make fun of my family environment. And then... I thought I could protect my mother from irresponsible insults if I'd become strong. Physical strength became justice for me. Ah! I'd expect nothing less from you, Yujiro. You can beat 100 of them in a row. Yeah. I had fistfights every day. If I became famous in this area, no one would hurt my mother. However, I was wrong. Are you okay? Uh... One day... I got hurt badly because I covered for my friend. <sighs> Mom? As I woke up, I saw my mother crying. Even though she never cried for being sick or being insulted by our neighbors. And then I realized I work hard in the wrong way. I didn't protect her. I just hurt her. Beating 100 delinquents, being the strongest delinquent, I could never be proud of those things. I finally realized I looked for ways to protect my mother other than violence. And then I found studies. That's how I got to where I am now. I didn't know that. Yeah, I'm the one to talk. But it's an embarrassing past that I'd like you to forget. Well, 
That's too sensational to forget. Yeah, I know. We shouldn't talk about our fails. Well, maybe I should think that I was able to help you because of that. <laughs> it's late. We should go home. Y yeah Um... What? What do you want this time? Um... Can I join you guys? Huh? Are you joking? You remember what you said to us? I'm sorry about that. Being sorry won't. Ken, we should be open. Jeez, you're such a pacifist. After that, we quietly had a study session. Hey, Osawa, can I ask you a question? Yeah? Why do you keep glancing at Yujiro? Your pen is still for the most part. Um, it's because... No, I'm not glancing. Hmm, okay. Hey, Yujiro, come with me. What? That's what happened. I see. That's big. Yeah, I shouldn't have let her know that. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> then, what is it? Uh, you're strong and smart. But you're dense about this stuff. What are you talking about? Nothing. Oh, I gotta do some housework today. I gotta go. Didn't you say you were available today? I forgot about that. Study hard with Osawa. Huh, hey! Sorry for the wait. Ken left because he has something to do. Oh, okay. It can't be helped. Alright, let's pick it up where we left off. Um, on second thought, I can't study anymore. Huh? Why? I end up looking at you, not my notebook. Why? I got something on my face? No! Um, that's not what I meant. What? It bothers me. Are you sure I have nothing on my face? I said no! You're strong and smart, yet you don't understand my feelings? Sorry, I really don't understand. <sighs> hey, give me some time on the way home. Oh, it's the park we came to yesterday. Yeah, the atmosphere at this hour is different than at night. Yeah. Um, I don't like being at home. I took a walk yesterday because I didn't want to be at home. That's why you were out at that hour. But why? My family is very wealthy. It's a first world concern though. I went through a lot because everyone envied me. It made me scared to be in relationships. I couldn't speak looking into their eyes or call my classmates by their names. I didn't know that. Did you consult someone about that? Your teacher or your parents? No. I couldn't gather the courage to consult the teachers. And I'm on bad terms with my parents. I can't talk to them. They don't have time to waste listening to me. Okay. No one protected me. So I thought I'd have to be strong on my own. I started wearing makeup to make myself look flashy. We're kinda similar. No, not at all. You were trying to protect your mother. I was trying to protect myself. Well, that was meaningless though. You're talking about what happened yesterday? Yeah, I couldn't protect myself again. I thought I'd live a life like that. But then, you showed up. You're the first one who protected me. I just passed by coincidentally. I don't care about why. The fact you protected me makes me happy. Um... Osawa-san? I haven't been able to get you out of my thoughts since yesterday. What? L let me get back to the point. I was trying to tell you this in the library. This is my first time, so... I don't know how to do it, but... I love you. I love you very much. Well, what do you think about me? Oh, I... I'm glad to hear that, but... It's also my first time being told that. So, I don't know what to say. I mean, I can't make a decision about a big thing like this immediately. Okay. We don't know each other well yet. I know you find it hard to fall for me right away. Yeah. 
But let me tell you this one thing. I'll make you fall for me. I'll fill your brain with so many feelings about me that you can't study anymore. Th that would be no good. You'd better get ready, Yujiro. Uh, what are these feelings? I didn't get any sleep. Morning! Hey, Osawa-san! You're close. Bear with it. You're a man. Believe it or not, I'm holding myself back. Wow, you two are flirting. Takizawa-kun, hey! Actually, I ran for a candidate for his girlfriend. Hey, Osawa-san, keep your voice down. Good for you. Hey, Yujiro, she calls you by your first name. You should call her by your first name. Did you hear him? Come on. Um... I'll be clingier unless you do that. You don't want any more attention, right? Hey, Ken! Help me! I'd help you if this were a fist fight, but have fun! Uh, hey! Come on! Okay already. Uh, Akari. Yay! You called me by my first name for the first time! Um, you're too close. Oh, sorry, I was excited. It's okay. She kept approaching me awkwardly. I never thought I'd deal with romance, but I started glancing at her. Have I almost fallen for her? Hey, Yujiro. Yeah? Tutor me! W what's going on? You're smart. You'll go to a great college. Well, I'm trying to, yeah. I want to go to the same college as you. I want to be with you forever. Akari. I told you. You'd better get ready. Being beside her gives me a mix of various types of emotions, such as nervousness and anxiety. I won't get it from either studies or friends. Like she said, I think my head is filled with feelings for her now. I guess I'll protect her forever, not just my mother.